Let's jump in. You are traveling the world. You're now fighting a Sin Cara. What is going through your head right now? You're now you find yourself in a place that you want to. Mm-hmm. What, what's going on? Well, I was excited for the opportunity. I was like, man, this guy has they they've invested so much money in this guy, so much time, so much of everything that I'm like, now it's my turn to you know make all that investment be worthwhile for them. But guess what happened? I didn't get the same opportunities. I did not get, you know, what he got, the benefit of the doubt, all those things that, you know, throughout his two, three years that he was there, he got. I didn't. Why do you think that happened? My personal opinion, Mm -hmm. nothing against anybody. I think it was, if I succeeded, it was a bigger failure for Triple H. Because Because, that's proven that... Because he was the one that hired him to come to WWE. And if I succeeded, then it was going to be a bigger failure towards him on Vince. You know, showing Vince that because Vince was the one that put the finger at me. Hey, let's put this guy as Sin Cara. So I never got that that push. I never got that uh, that support in those meetings. You know, hey, let's let's help this kid out. Let's do this. Let's do that for him. They never. You know what I? You know what they brought me down to NXT. This is true. They don't say it, but I know it's true. Triple H brought me down to NXT because they wanted Kalisto to be the next Rey Mysterio. Really? It wasn't to showcase me, but to make me. NXT champion or whatever, he was to showcase him. Well, but as you were doing <laughs> this, you were proving your skills. And exactly. Of course you, yeah, I, I always this took, is where you found your opportunity I always to took it as an opportunity. I never took it in the, in a sense like, oh, they're going to use me, pobrecito. No, 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 no. Okay, they want to use me, I'm going to use them now and showcase you who's better. You know, and, and proof of it is that no matter where I go, no matter where I go, no matter when I went, when I was with them, I would always get a reaction from the crowd, always. And that was the mentality of them when they had those meetings. Because I know this because it came out of their mouth one time. Like, oh, no matter what's in Caradas, people still love him. No yeah. matter if he wins or loses. I'm like, yeah, but I want a piece of the pie too. People like winners. They don't like losers. Yeah. You were describing, you were talking mm-hmm. about, and, and and I was like, oh, my God, that's so true that mm-hmm. you were talking about coming back home. Mm-hmm. Y tu niño, your kid's telling you, hey, dad, how come you're losing? You're losing, and you're like, how can you explain that It's so hard to, to let, a kid. Exactly. What do you say to your kids? Like, dad, you always lose. Like, I, what do you explain? Oh, it's my job. You know, they don't understand that. They don't understand that. But, and that was tough for me, you know, as, as a parent, as a performer, as a, a professional to tell your kids what do you explain to your kids and so it came to a point that i realized like nothing was going to change for me you know it wasn't a decision that i took from one day to another it took me years to actually you know go ahead and 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 ask for my release i had told him a year before i was like let me go if you don't want me here i was like you're not gonna use let me go and they're like no we're not gonna whatever why do you want to leave, you know? And I'm like, because I'm tired of the same situation. It's always the same people that get the opportunities. The same five, six people all the time. And what about the rest of us? And so it wasn't something that I went on for, like, you know, that for that period of time, and then I was gone. No, no, no. It took me a long time. I talked to the viewer that I had to talk to, and nothing changed because everybody presses a little ball, like, here. Oh, no, it's this guy. It's that Until guy. It's this guy. Finally had Until enough. I finally, you know, took the decision. I prayed a lot. I called a few of my friends, and... And I told them how I felt, and they told me, like, if you think it's time, it's time now. So that's why I decided to put out a release statement saying how I felt, because I've always been very private in, in every sense of the word, in my in my uh, social media. And But it was time for me to let people know how I felt. And them, too, because I asked for a meeting with Vince. They told me that I had to make an appointment. I'm like, if I have to make an appointment with Vince after 10 years in this company, then I don't belong here. Wow. Simple as that. You know, nothing against anybody. And when I spoke with uh, Carano, uh, he's always been good to me. He was always good to me. He's always been good to me and nothing against him. I told him, this is business. This is not personal. Me and you, nothing that I say is, is personal. Don't take it personal. And even to this day, you know, he sent me a text message when I when it was my birthday and it was cool, you know. Because I was there for 10 years and I built a lot of good relationships with people. But I think it's just a system. The system is rotten. That's 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 an ugly word to use. But it's true. It's a system that needs to change. It's a system that is to adapt to new times. You see a lot of talent go there, and then they leave. And why? You under, like why did they want to leave? It's hard. It's hard to say, right? Because it's the biggest and and most uh, successful company in the world. And obviously, the guys that have succeeded is because they given them the opportunity to succeed. 
Simple as that. It's not because he's better than me or better than the other guy. It's because they have been constant with him and they've given them the opportunity to succeed so that people would like him. The shield wasn't forming one day. They gave him an opportunity for years to succeed. How come we never got that? How come Epico, Primo, myself, when they join us as a group for the first time, they're like, oh, they look like gangsters. And all of a sudden, you bring the shield in. Oh, no, the shield. Let's keep them together. Or well, like the now the Hurt Business, you know, yeah. uh, Cedric Alexander, all those guys, which is awesome. How come we don't get the opportunity like that, los Latinos? We don't. Look at look at Calisto. What he's doing? Nothing. Look at Metallic. What is he doing? He goes down to NXT a couple of weeks ago, and he loses to Escobar. He's in the main roster, right? He's supposed to be better than the guys from NXT in a sense. But he just, just threw him down there to showcase Escobar, which is perfect. It's another Latino. But how come you don't give him the NXT title? Why well, you have to give him the Cruiserweight, the US title? How come we never get the opportunity to succeed in those big, big matches? Andrade is still there. He's he's proving himself that he's an amazing worker. He can work with anybody, go with anybody. What is he doing? Yeah. Not much. And you had always, and especially it, it comes in fact there, the thing that you were always putting yourself out there for mm -hmm. an opportunity. You always. knew that you had to start from the bottom, that you yeah. knew that, yeah. but you were waiting for that chance to shine. Exactly. And it never happened. And it never happened. And I'm glad when I got the call, when they told me they were going to grab me my release, they, they told me straight out, you know, we're never going to give you the opportunity that you wanted. Like that, they told me. And at least during that moment, I was like, thank you for being was, honest with I me. I was right. right. Yes, when exactly. That, getting and that I was validation. like, thank you for being honest wow. for once, not throwing the ball to anybody. Thank you for being honest. And I was like, I made the right decision. I definitely made the right decision. So it was uh, one of those times that I was like, man, uh, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to move on. I'm excited to, you know, showcase now my talent, have control in every sense of the word of who I am, you know, not putting over all these guys that unfortunately suck because they do suck, but they want to make them. It's like, it's my turn to shine. And then what happened? COVID comes yeah. along and messes with everybody. <laughs> of course. No, sir. And, and again, and I was telling you this prior, I mean, not only in wrestling, but there's a lot of people that can identify with you. I mean, you were yeah. at the top. You were getting steady income. Yeah. I mean, you you were extremely famous. You still are, but as Sin Cara, mm. worldwide known and everything. Yet, you still decided that, you know what? I'm going to go in and follow my path. Yeah, it was it was a matter of like of me, of who I am, of what I believe in. And, and I understand that God, then again, had another, another way for me. It wasn't... Maybe it wasn't that, you know, I was there for 10 years. Okay, it's time to move on and, and nothing's changed. So I gave it my opportunity. Now it's time to 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 go and, and look for my opportunity. Now, if they don't give it to me, let's look for it, but not be attached to anybody because they would, you know, they, they own you in every sense, in every sense, you know. And then if you, I, I stopped giving ideas to the writers because nothing would happen. I started giving ideas to this or that for merch for everything because the, the system is rotten and everybody Things they're better than you. The writers, the 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 production guys, the the guys from uh, Merge. All oh, those guys are horrible, man. I'm serious. Those guys are horrible. You would give them an idea, and then they're like, "Oh no, that's a bad idea. That's not good, or whatever." Like, at least try it. Let me see what comes up with. And nothing, man. So it's tough, you know. It was tough being in a place like that. I was like, I was like, I told when I had a meeting with, I was like, man, I, I was, I'm the one that put it on my body on the line for everybody else to have a job here. If I don't wrestle, if AJ Styles doesn't wrestle, if he doesn't wrestle, how are you going to make shirts of those guys? And how the guy from Merch has a job? How the writer has a job if Seth Rollins is not wrestling? How do you come up with ideas for, you know, for Brock Lesnar, for all those guys? But they know they think they're better than you. And that's tough because you have to depend on them because the company depends on them. So it was so hard in that sense. Wow, that's a true. So when they finally grant you the release, Everything was like, yes, yeah, I'm yeah. free from all this. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. Wow. What was the one thing that kept you? Because you know it wasn't like an overnight thing. You said it, years you talked to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that you were like, oh, yeah, they were still stuck that maybe had you, uh, before making that decision that you were still stuck on maybe, was it the steady income? Was it the fame? Was it the no, steady no, no. job? The, what was the, it? The fame was never it. It was, it was uh, I think, now that I had kids, the steady income, you know? Being able to provide for them, being able to have a, a you know something that they come home and they have their food, they have the you know that I could pay for for things that they that I was living with, and and that's the hardest part because like okay, but then I was like man like I'll move on, you know I'll be okay, you know I did it for ten years without them, I can do another ten twenty whatever I need to without them, it's okay, 
the world's not gonna end and, and I'll I'll find a way to succeed. I'll find another way to to do what I wanna do and and I just wanna be happy again. I wanna I wanna fall in love with my career again. Cause I lost that. So when I lost that, that's when I realized that like I'm done. I'm done here. And and I tell you this from experience because I know a lot of guys now and then feel the same way. But they don't leave because this is the thing that they want. Of course. And I get it because their family depends on them. But a perfect example, Metallic, Grand Metallic. He's an amazing wrestler, man. He was a five-time world champ when he was in New Japan, when he was in Mexico, and then you bring him here. He has never won anything. Not one thing has he won. How do, is that decided? I mean, it's obviously at the office above, yeah. but is that just because is it personal? Is it just, you know what, we bring you on knowing that? Like, how is <laughs> no, the process? I have no idea what the process or what's the deal, but I think that uh, Latinos, we don't get the opportunity that we deserve, to be honest. Wow. And for us, it's, it's harder to, we have to showcase our talent or we have to prove ourselves twice than anybody else. And then, like, like we said, and in yeah. your specific uh -huh. story, starting when you when you made uh -huh. it big now to Sin Cara permanently, yeah. already starting from negative, and maybe they already knew that, uh -huh. you know what, the, the Sin Cara's not going to go back to the same opportunity. Yeah, that but they you, gave have the them. you have the power of television. You have the power to change the perception of people. You have the power to yeah. do that. What happened with Roman Reigns? People didn't like it because they understood that they wanted to make him so hard. They wanted to throw him out of people's throats all the time, all the time. Now that he's a heel, people like it. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's... Which is pretty like cool. Said, yeah. I think he's doing an amazing job. He's a great worker. He's a good friend of mine. And nothing against anybody. This is not about personal stuff. This is about business. And for me, that's the thing, you know? I, I just wanted a chance to succeed. That's all I ask for all the time. I never ask for anything else, but just a ch chance to succeed and showcase my talent. How come we never came to El Paso and did a documentary of my life? When I got injured, how come they didn't send somebody a camera crew to where, when I got my surgery? Ah, oh, but when Seth Rollins got injured, let's take a crew. When the other guy got injured, let's take a crew and document everything. You know, you could tell the difference in everything. And it's so wonderful to hear that. Not only that, because again, in any job place, in any work, there's mm -hmm. those scenarios, yeah. but you're taking a stand for it yeah. and actually doing something about yeah, it. So yeah. that's and, and like, like I was saying, it's nothing against anybody, not against and the, the, the guys that are their name, they're good friends of mine, but it's the system. It's the system that has, you know, made that in, in every sense of the word. And, and it's just so bad for a lot of us, not mm -hmm. just me, for a lot of guys that are still there that are very talented. Another example I can tell you is Ricochet. Ricochet was in Japan, like, you know, filling out arenas and doing amazing matches with, with with Osprey and all those guys. And then, boom, he comes over here. Boom, ¿qué pasa? Pa abajo otra vez. You know? How, how discouraging that It's might be. Right? So Especially hard, when you come yeah. here thinking that oh, I made it, <laughs> exactly. this, we're going to make it big. And then little by little seeing exactly. what happens. Exactly. No, señor, I appreciate this.